Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. I figure we pull some messages from the person that has you on their mind. Wow. Ooh. Okay, anxiety popping out. Divine intervention is here. And manipulation. Game over at the bottom of the deck. This person is very shady. Damn, manipulation, shady. Um, and then spirit asking you, what have you learned from the situation? Anxiety is here. This person wants to talk to you. Can we talk is here? This is an ex-lover for you. Um, but divine intervention. And what have you learned? That's sticking out to me. Because it's almost like a lesson was taught here of some sort. Like something that you had to, not to say you had to go through it, but it's some type of elevation that it put you through, whatever this was. You, me, and she is here. So some type of betrayal happened. This was a third party situation. Um, this person tried to dominate you sexually. Um, always leading with sex, whoever this is. But you're moving on from whoever this is. Like you're like, I got to go. This is not going to work for me. Um, you want this person to tell you the truth. Because you feel like they're a sneaky little liar, whoever this is. And they wear a mask. So, mm, you may be disappointed, but you need to do what you need to do for yourself is here. Um, you, this person may have thought the grass was greener. And this is a soulmate connection of some sort between the two of you. This person is addicted to you now. But it's all emotional blackmail. Wow, game over at the bottom of the deck. Like, this is... This just looks like um, a serious lesson for you was in this situation. It's, and it looks like a messy ass situation. Um, caused a lot of anxiety for you. The anxiety came in because you, me, and she is here. You, me, and he. Take the energy how it resonates. But this person wasn't faithful. You always knew or felt there was someone else or another presence there. But that's because this person was very manipulative. They could be very shady towards you. Um, you felt like they were lying. There's a certain level of truth that you needed to know. And here's the irony. Now they're addicted to you. Now they want to talk to you. Now they want to explain themselves. Divine intervention being here and you having to figure out what you've learned. Um, I feel like it's almost like a lesson. I don't want to say in disappointment, but just a lesson in learning how to not set yourself up for it. I feel like maybe you may have already felt this person's energy in the beginning. Maybe you didn't listen to your intuition. You knew there may have been someone else, but you hoped they were telling you the truth. I don't know. We're going to pull some tarot right now. Uh, Six of Pentacles is here. Three of you do not want to work with this person anymore. Um, Six of Pentacles falling on top of anxiety. You're at the point in your life where you're trying to give yourself even give and take because you... When this person was around you, there was, you were anxious. Um, could be always anxious trying to know what's going on, what know what's next, know what the hell they're doing, what the hell they're up to. Like, it's a level of anxious, just anxious. Now, it's tapered off that they're not around. Or if you're still in this relationship, the moment you start distancing yourself, that anxiety kind of fades here. And it's when it comes to love with this person. You're not fighting for this. Um, you're not fighting for them to explain themselves, especially with that justice card being here. You're no longer, I guess, fighting to hold them accountable for something. Like you just, you're no longer looking for any answers. Um, and they, they see how well equipped you are without them. Um, it's the level of arrogance that this person had when you were with them or when they felt like they had you. Um, they felt like they knew better than you. They felt like they knew more than you. They just felt like they, you were on different levels. Um, and now with this Five of Swords, they're questioning themselves. Um, Because of the way that you left, the way you stood up for yourself, the way that you're doing better now, the way that you're taking care of yourself now. Um, coming up as the world, the world is you at the point in your life where 
you're able to give yourself the things that you want. You're able to be who you want to be. You're able to live the life that you want to live. You may not be where you want to be necessarily, but you know how the hell to get there. You know, you're at that point in your life. It's something about this person's arrogance here that just felt like you was never going to be that type of person. Like you were always going to need to be guided by them or they were all, they always knew better than you. <clears throat> it's just, it just keeps coming up. Like I know better than them, you know, like this just certain level of arrogance. Like you just didn't know who you were or you were never going to figure it out. This person is very arrogant. Um, they thought they had you in a bag, honey. Uh, Right now, they have a lot of burdens in their life. Um, could be financial burdens, family burdens, whatever. But they got burdens in their life at this moment. Um, they're in this King of Swords energy, <clears throat> which is more thought, thinking. This person is thinking about you a lot. They do want to communicate with you. Um, they've not lost any love for you. Here you are coming up as the sun. Uh, they've not lost any love for you at all. This could be a fire sign. You could be a fire sign could be a Libra as well, but this person has not lost any love for you. It's it's like, I guess they want to be able to talk to you. And that, in those times when they're facing all of these burdens, or all these adversities, you were always the person, you were always that light. You were always the one that helped them see it through. You always like that inspiration for them. And they miss being able to have those conversations with you. King of Wands being here, this person still desires you in a sexual way as well. And you just, you look great. You look good. Like you, you out here doing the damn thing. <laughs> okay. You out here causing problems <clears throat> the way you look. So I don't, you know, this is too bad. So sad type shit. Like it's nothing you could really do. This person missed out. Uh, two of pentacles, three of wands and a knight of swords. Just that flighty in and out energy and always had you waiting. Like you were just, you just supposed to wait for this person for the rest of your life. Meanwhile, they were juggling. You supposed to wait while they were juggling? I don't understand why they thought that they had you like that. Um, it's almost like in order for you to gain your balance and to maintain your balance, you kind of had to shell relationships right now. And that's not for everybody, so take this if it resonates. But like you put relationships on the shelf for a second. It was just like, I got to get balanced. Like I got to heal myself. I got to figure out what need this person was serving me because I was, and that addicted card came up, like the way I was so willing and in and, and love and willing to drop everything and willing to just do everything for this person. I got to balance myself because I'll never lose myself like that again. I think like that's, I feel like that's the energy that you're in. <clears throat> Yeah, a certain level. Wow. You definitely was like, I got to put this on the shelf for a second because it was like a certain level of perception change for you when it came to love. When the lovers is here, for me, it is love, but it's also the choices that you make in love, the choices in how you choose to love. Um, you have control over that. If you're going to be a cheater, you have control over that. If you're going to be a monogamous person, you have control over that. You have control over how you love. And it was like you had to take a step back after all it is here and just go, okay, am I, am I, am I allowing, am I showing people how to treat me? You know, it's something there like, um, going back to this being divine intervention and I'm showing people how to treat me. So I'm, I'm, I'm teaching this person when I took them back after they, this, you, me, and she, or you, me, and he, whatever this third party was. And I kept doing it and I kept doing it. What was I teaching this person? You know, why was I allowing them to push boundaries? Because this is a person that pushed a lot of boundaries with you. You know, why did I allow them to continue to push boundaries? What was I lacking for me that I was willing to put myself in that situation? And I think that's why you had to change your perception when it, came to love, when it comes to love for a second and go, okay, I need to take a step back and realize what it is that I actually need, what I want, and what I will and will not accept. <clears throat> excuse me y'all like I don't know why it's like I can't get this shit out today I'm trying to try my hearts <laughs> what else spirit yes look at you faded all right coming up as a high priestess intuitive um just balanced know it all not know it all but you know it all like people actually come to you and tell you all their secrets you know everybody's secrets you know what I'm saying because you can 
you're like the vault. You can hold that information and be like, when I think of the high priestess, I think of like someone that you 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 testify to, someone you tell all of those things to, someone that can that's strong enough to hold that type of information, not run and tell everybody else, but somebody that is spiritually guided enough to know that they needed guidance from you, so you were able to guide them in that moment. You're coming up as the high priestess here with the wheel of fortune, like. This is who you are. This is you walking in your purpose. Um, sometimes, and it's, it's crazy, but sometimes spirit will break us down. They will give us the right tower just to break us down to build us back up stronger. And I feel like that's how you're being built back up stronger. Um, you feel people's energy. You know people's energy. You know exactly when someone is trying to play in your face, like you can, you can call it out very quickly. I said this in another reading, like your level of intuitiveness has gone up so high um, that now it's like, when you look back at this situation, you know, it's, it's damn near like, damn, I wonder, and I hate to say that, but it's kind of one of those, like you had to go through the fire to elevate. Um, Page of Wands being here, <clears throat> three of cups, eight of swords. You may have some phony ass people around you. Don't know why that came up. Or just pertaining to so, uh, like, like, I don't know if this is friends. I don't know if this is work. It's just a group of people here. Um, some sort of like that either you felt trapped around at some point that was stabbing you in the back. It's like, and it's only because here you come as the priestess, high, the high priestess and the empress, I'm sorry. Coming up in that loving, nurturing, caring energy, um, being able to create, being able to nurture something, being able to have a firm foundation, knowing what you want, knowing who you are, knowing how to walk in your purpose. Then you come up with all of that, you're causing problems. You, you irritate people's darkness. People that really have not had that enlightenment, people that are just looking for validation from other people. You make them feel trapped at times. And I, I think it's something where it's like, it doesn't even phase you. Like it does not stop you. It doesn't phase you. Even these daggers that they tried to throw at you didn't phase you. Cause you're just, you're just coming up like, <laughs> I'm cool. You know, I'm still doing what I need to do. I don't know, is this work? What is this? This three of cups here. Yes, yeah, seven of pentacles. This is like, this is a job. This is people around you at a job. Possibly take the energy out of resonates if it's not, but it could be a group of people. And it's a group of people that are either trying to make you feel trapped. Um, either it's something about you not feeling like you can elevate where you are. I don't know what this is. Like, this just feels like a bunch of catty ass people that's just trying to, to either steal your shine, but you're shining anyway, or trying to manipulate a situation to take an opportunity away from you. Ace of Pentacles, absolutely. Like trying to do everything they can to sabotage you in that situation, but you work too hard. You're too intuitive. You get along with people. You're able to build relationships. So your work ethic alone is carrying you. It's, it's surpassing others and it's making them, it's causing them to try to sabotage your situation for you. But you got this ace of pentacles here, honey. They can't. Opportunity, potential, and money right next to you with the strength. I wouldn't be shocked if you, let me just pull one more. Somebody from your past may contact you for a job because they know your strength. Someone from your past, someone when you were young, someone from your past may contact you about an opportunity that you've been waiting for. Wow. And you are going to take it with the fool being here. Damn. Not only are you going to take, yes, you are going to take it. You are going to walk away from a situation that you're currently in and you're going to take on this uh, financial opportunity and it's coming up as a 10 of pentacles. Like it's going to give you the financial stability you want. I would definitely claim that message. Um, Shit, I'm claiming that. Uh, this is one of those situations where it's just like out of nowhere. 
And at a time when you're working around a bunch of people that are trying to sabotage you anyway, somebody is going to offer you an opportunity from your past, someone from your past, because they know your strong ass work ethic. They know how you do. They know how you are. They know you put your all into what you do. When you plant seeds, you plant seeds. You want to see them grow, you know? Um, you are going to take on that opportunity. What else is coming up for the uh, collective? You're like, congrats to whoever that is. What else is coming up? Hold on to your money. Okay, you are moving on from something. Hold on to your money while you're doing that. You're coming up as the queen of swords right now. You're in your mind. Um, you're thinking about the things that you need to do. Uh, more of that, not cutthroat, but I'll make the, the decision I need to make without emotion right now. I need to make a logical decision. So that's the mindset you're in. Page of Cups being here. Um, I can take that two ways. Somebody wants to offer you something that you never believe or somebody else wants to offer you an apology too. If you do leave a job, I'm more than sure these people are going to try to make you stay. But you need to remember the type of environment that you were in and the reason you looked for something else anyway. Okay? Uh, because that's never going to change. But you have a beautiful opportunity to make wealth right now. You have a beautiful opportunity to help your family out. When that opportunity comes, the spirit is telling you to go for it. Go for it. Don't even, don't even go for it. Coming up as queen of wands. You're going to excel at whatever this opportunity is. Um, you're going to shine. This is, this, is who you, this is where you should be. Put it that way. You're able, your ideas are going to be listened to. They're going to see you in a certain light. Queen of Wands, someone that creates, someone that's um, damn near like, <laughs> when I see the Queen of Wands, I just think of magical. Like shit you do is just magical at times. You know what I mean? Like you've got this fiery ass energy, you know, you're very passionate. The same time, like you can create anything, like things actually, you actually see things through you know, into fruition. Like you, you actually make it happen. Um, that is that queen of wands energy. You got the wand in your hand. You, you are, you are controlling this energy right here. So this is a good, very good. I feel like this is a very good reading for you in that sense. Like you've been through so much in the past. Yes. It's time for you to get your victories. Five of wands being hit with the six of wands. Ooh, people are going to hate on your ass for this right here. Whatever this is, people are going to hate People been trying to get this. They've been trying to get where you are. They are going to hate so crazy. Page of Swords being here. Um, so there's someone from your past as well that's watching you. Um, this is someone that uh, has a very manipulative spirit. This is someone that just does not like to tell the truth when it comes to who they're dealing with. This Three of Swords here. This is a person that's always going to have somebody in the background. Um, they're watching you. But they have no idea what you're up to. Uh, they just know that you no longer believe in them. They know that you no longer are going towards the things that don't serve you. Um, they look at you as the one that got away. They're looking at themselves in this victim mentality. Like, you know, why did you walk away from me? And like they're taking it in that way, not realizing this three of swords is here. That's why this person left, came up twice. You know, um, they're just thinking about themselves. But death being here with the moon. There is a belief that is no longer for you. There's a belief that, you know, even if you believed this person, that is no longer for you. Like you're at that point in your life where you're just like, it's a rebirth. I, I'm no longer who I used to be. And the things that used to be enough are no longer enough for me. I want more. And, and it's just certain things that I will tolerate and certain things that I won't. So they're going to have to deal with this five of cups. It is what it is. Um, Herman is here. It is going to... You may cause a spiritual awakening in this person, but yeah, you may actually cause a spiritual awakening in this person. Um, it's something about being like right now, it's something about them when they're alone, when they're thinking, um, this person could be a Virgo too, fire signs up here as well. Um, they could be a Virgo, well not, I'm sorry, they could be when they're on their own and they're thinking about you specific, it's like they automatically get triggered into a dark place they automatically just feel sad about the way things ended it it's almost giving me like cringeworthy about the way that they treated you they really do not like the light that they 
that you look at them in. Like they don't like the way you see them anymore. Um, the devil's in reverse. So they may be willing to let go of toxic, addictive ass behavior. This ace of wands behind it is the potential for a new opportunity for them. Um, so, you know, at the same time, this person has an issue when it comes to choices. Um, you don't. You are going towards what you know you have in the bag. This nine of pentacles being here, you listen, you're about to like really, um, your money is about to change. Your money is about to be in a different tax bracket. It's about to switch up. It's about to switch up for you. Um, it's a bit, it's a long time coming, but it's, it's about to switch up. Like you and this nine of pentacles energy looking great. Like you got this, you, you know what you up to, you know what you got going on. Like, and you're so seasoned at whatever it is that you do. You could do it in your fucking sleep. Like people can't, that's why they were hating on you at wherever this was. We're just a group of people that were kind of trying to sabotage you, trying to stab you in the back, trying to cause burdens for you. It's because you're just, you're on fire right now. You know what I mean? And at one point in your life, you had anxiety. At one point in your life, somebody was making you feel like you weren't good enough or somebody felt like they were better than you. You know what I mean? So coming out of that dark ass place and looking at yourself and saying, you know what? I got to fix me. Damn the relationship. I need to fix what's going on with me because if I don't, I'm going to keep going towards people that wear masks. I'm going to keep going towards manipulators. I'm going to keep going towards narcissists. Like you really changed your life and, and like congratulations on whatever this is because you have a financial opportunity coming up whether it's with your business whether it's with a job whether it's somebody like i said from the past calling you with a new opportunity you have an opportunity coming go for it okay i'm gonna pull the last few cards and then i'm gonna get up out of here all right of course your last few cards got to be complicated as hell um you may not know what to do okay so when this opportunity comes up you may not know what to do Lead with your heart. Lead with your heart. Okay? Because at times you, when you're an empath or empathic, you start thinking about, oh, well, if I leave, how are these people going to, you know, how are they going to do this? Or how are they going to get, that is not your problem. That's not your assignment. Your assignment is to make sure that you excel at life. Your assignment is to make sure that you have a firm foundation, that you're walking in your purpose which one of these opportunities is going to allow you to do that that's how you make that decision okay because you got nine of pentacles and a nine of cups you're doing well emotionally you're doing well financially and that's because you're going after what it is that serves you go after what serves you okay let me tell you because it's 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 almost like it will rejuvenate the way you look at love when you go after what serves you, when you go towards the opportunities that are good for you, that, that feel like a good fit, it's like all of a sudden it's like a domino effect. Other things are a good fit start coming along. You got two of cups here and the queen of cups and with you being the queen of pentacles. Very good financially, financially stable, but you also are open to love. Um, your love of love. Um, you look like love. <laughs> two of cups is here. Somebody wants to offer it to you. Um, I'm going to pull a few and then I'm really getting out of here, but I wanted to know about this two of cups and then you being the queen of cups. Who is this two of cups real quick? A beautiful, beautiful energy, beautiful reading. This is who you've manifested. This is fate. This is who you've been asking for. This is when, when you talk in the spirit and you're saying, bring me this person with this, this, and, and, and this type of personality and somebody that is on the same vibe as me and somebody that I could be myself around spirit was listening. This is who they're sending towards you. Okay. Um, this is who they're sending towards you. It's just really kind of reiterating. This is somebody that's holding on to their money right now. Um, and this is somebody that is well-rounded. They come up as the world, just like you came up as the world. So this is somebody that matches your fly. Okay. Um, again, this is who you manifested account. Ooh, judgment being here in Knight of Cups. This is what has been sent or who has been sent to you from spirit. It's like spirit is like, Send them to her. She's ready. He's ready. Send them now. Because now they're at that point in their life where they know how to put themselves first. They know not to be so selfless. They know that there's a certain level, there's a certain level of self-preservation that they have to put when they're in a relationship. So I want to put someone in front of them that can understand that. And that's who's coming. Um, Knight of Cups, they're going to offer you love off the bat. This person is going to want to date you quickly. 
um, it's not it's not coming up as like, oh, we're going to be friends first. It's coming up as somebody that is going to approach you. Um, somebody that's going to, you know, you know what it is when you see them. You know what I'm saying? So that makes sense. This is after a breakup. This is after, this is now. This is happening. Because uh, you're coming up the same, in the same Empress energy with this uh, Eight of Pentacles working on your foundation, working on the seeds that you're planting. So this is in the now. Uh, somebody's coming towards you and it's faded with you coming up as a nine of cups because you emotionally healed to be able to handle this ace of swords being here, this level of truth when it comes to love. You're about to embark on a, a different level of truth when it comes to love. This is different. This is not any of this shit. This is no one from your past. This is somebody new. This is a different type of love. This is that... Um, wow wow this it just it just comes up as like a different layer of love you've never experienced you know with anyone um finding that person that that gets you inside and out it's not about how you physically look it's about who you are it's about who you show up as this person took a long time to get here but this is going to ultimately make you happy and you both are exchanging each other's cups like you both are exchanging your hearts to one another both of you are you won't have to you won't have to worry about where you stand with this person you'll know like and they they'll know where they stand with you all right um it's coming it's coming i'm just letting you know be prepared because love is coming okay i'm gonna pull one last card and i'm gonna get out of here you asked for it you got it Love is coming for your ass. <laughs> Love will be here very soon. Be prepared. And of course, it comes at the worst possible timing. You got all of this shit going on. You're changing your foundation. You're building your foundation. You're doing a bunch of shit. And now here comes love. Wow. Movement choices and decisions is here. Positive movement forward with the number two being here. That's balance. That's um, uh, prosperity. That's, that's duality. That's partnership. That's partnership. So you actually, it's just reiterating that you're about to, in a sense, you're about to take on a new partner because you're about to do something work-wise or with your business, but you're also about to take on another partner because this is some type of love situation that's about to happen for you. Okay. Transformation here. That is literally, you're not who you used to be. This is a new way of thinking. This is a new belief. This is a new belief system that you have for your life. Okay. Um, and awareness being here. Wow. You're, you're, you're on fire. Okay. Like you're, so aware of who you are you're aware of your surroundings you're aware of spirit you're aware um you just know you know what i mean and it's a deep it's, it's almost like uh you're a part of an exclusive club now where you know you know what i mean and you you know people that are not woke you just you are not one of those people you are completely awake okay um and your intuition is on fire throat chakra speak up for yourself okay this is the time to ask for what you want so if you are going on an interview if you are looking for that job please ask for the amount of money you want please know your worth and literally have no shame ask for what you need okay um because you're going to get it like right now ask for whatever you need spirit is going to give it to you you've earned it okay this is life changing shit like your life is about to change in a major way and in so many different levels like just money love self-love self-preservation like so many things are changing for you and it's beautiful okay all right guys i'm gonna get up out of here thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe and i see you guys on the next one thanks